In question 4 of this exercise, the problem statement says in figure 6.19, this figure here, DE is parallel to AC. So DE is parallel to AC and DF is parallel to AE. So DF, this segment, is parallel to AE. So using this, we have to prove that BF by FE, observe this ratio in the figure carefully, BF by FE is equal to BE by EC. So this is what we have to prove. Okay, so here's how we will solve this problem. Here's the reasoning we will use. First, we will apply the basic proportionality theorem, the BPT, to triangle ABE, since DF is parallel to AE. So let me highlight the segment DF. So DF, this segment, this segment here is parallel to AE. So we will apply the BPT theorem uh, to this triangle and that will give us BF by FE equal to BD by DA. Then we will apply the BPT to triangle ABC because in triangle ABC DE, this segment DE is parallel to AC and if we apply the BPT to this triangle, what will we get? So we will get in this case BE by EC equal to BD by DA. So let me summarize. Uh, first we will apply the BPT to triangle ABE and that will give us BF by FE equal to BD by DA. Then we will apply the BPT to triangle ABC and that will give us BE by EC equal to BD by DA. So both the ratios BF by FE and BE by EC both are equal to BD by DA. So uh, the two ratios will be equal. Okay, so let's write out this solution now properly. So first we are applying the BPT to triangle ABE. So in triangle ABE, DF is parallel to AE and this means that BF by FE will be equal to, what will this be equal to? This will be equal to BD by DA and the reason is BPT and let's call this equation 1. Then we apply the BPT to the second triangle ABC. So in triangle ABC, DE is parallel to AC. So because of this, we can say that BE by EC will be equal to BD by DA, again using the basic proportionality theorem and let's call this equation 2. Now if we compare the RHS of equation 1 and equation 2, the RHS is the same, BD by DA, BD by DA. And this means that the LHS of the two equations will also be the same. So from equation 1 and equation 2, we can now say that BF by FE is equal to BD by, uh, BE by EC, correct? And this is what we had to prove. So with this, we have completed question number four. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.